All right, Shelby, let's take a look at one of your runs here on Eagle Alley. And you could probably, well, two things. I think we were talking about uh, with you uh, that day, um, really almost clearing the, the gates, you know, too high with a hand. Uh, yes, the pole is more flexible, so in theory, you know, the higher we can clear it, uh, it is a little more flexible. It's not a much impact, you know, down near the base. It's stiffer, but that's really, you know, too high. Head high is, I think, too high gets you in trouble. Um, you know, more just shoulder, shoulder width straight ahead and not, not up in the air. Um, you know, you can also kind of see here some reaching around, so it causes the upper body to rotate, uh, causes really the hip to, you know, come around this way and flatten out the ski. Um, we want to make sure we, we try to stay in the corridor. Uh, if we could have moved everything over this way, we wouldn't have to reach. I know, easier, easier said than done, but uh, something we got to work on. Here, um, you know, this turn, whoops, you don't need that. This turn here, um, you know, started out looking pretty good. You got right in there, you know, outside ski loaded up. Look at all that, all that bend, uh, reverse camera right there. That's looking good. But all of a sudden, you know, you kind of had to, you reached over and that put weight onto the inside ski. The outside ski just flattened out and started skidding. So from here in, um, you know, there's no more bend. You're going straight. I mean, pretty much from here on, you're going straight, straight, straight. And that's a telltale sign they didn't have the job done. The, uh, the saw pole is hitting your tip. I mean, this pole, if we got, if we got the, uh, the turn down above the gate, had a direction done by the gate, uh, we should be knocking the saw poles in the direction of the next gate and thus on the snow next to you. should never be hitting your tip because you came straight, straight, straight. And therefore, because you went so straight, now we're trying to load it up and we're just late. We're late for this thing. So you knew, all right, I'm not in a position, didn't have enough time. So went wide here, didn't have time in the back seat. You really, you could see this whole turn is no ankle flexion, you know, whatsoever there. Um, try to get back involved here, but again, a little bit, you know, late. Things were happening. So, you know, again, kind of reached around a little wide. And as soon as that reach, uh, you know, caused a little bit too much rotation following the skis, the hip went this way. And we'd love to see it, you know, the hip a little more uh, up the hill this way, upper body facing down the hill. But it all kind of started below. You know, one thing, it looks like you really start the turns, you know, over, you know, too early. You know, here, here's the rise line right here, more or less, right? And, you know, you're kind of, you know, in the fall line with your skis already you know, in the fall line. So, I mean, what could you do now? I mean, uh, if you loaded them up, you'd be inside that gate. So you had no choice but to just kind of flatten them out. We're going to skid around it because you did not give yourself the room. So, you know, even there, um, you know, starting to turn, I think, too early. I mean, rise line's here. Um, to me, it looks like if you were to arc that turn, you know, you'd be inside the gate. So you kind of skittered them here, steered them around, flattened them out. And that, and thus, you know, you're down, look how far you are, you know, down below the gate, finishing your turn. If you're a little more patient, delayed the turn and had the skis more pointed when you intersect the rise line, uh, not down the hill. It would give your feet room to arc around. You know, kind of the same thing I think here. Just kind of starting out too early. No choice but to kind of now skid them around to give yourself room. 
And therefore, we got a reach. Hip goes out. Skis flatten out. You know, and again, we talked about it just a moments ago when we were talking yesterday. You know, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty high. Uh, you know, clearing. You're you're you know above your head, and that reaching up. You know, what is it? What does that cause you to do? Well, certainly not level, right? If you're reaching really high, and that's above your head to clear a gate. We know we're going to be tipping in. And because of that tip in there, I think it caused you to, to skid a little low. And you weren't in good position now, so we just went around it. But here we go. Whoop, we don't need that line. Let's get up. Come on. Let's get up and look at this one. That's what we're talking about. So here we are in the rise line, and our skis are rolled up, and now the skis are pointing in this direction when you are intersecting the rise line, and that allows you, the skis, to arc. You can't really see it here, but they are arcing. It gives your feet the room to arc around the gate, and, you know, you have to give yourself the feet, the room to get around the gate so that you can have a strong, angulated position, you know, with the knees. That, let's look at that one again. That's a great turn. In the, in the rise line, skis still going out in this direction, allowing the feet to arc around, giving them room to have a strong, angulated position right there. That was a great turn. Well done. So, you know, more of that. Be a little more patient. Uh, don't have those skis in the fall line. Your skis in the fall line when you're in the rise line. And uh, clear, clear lower. That's going to help you.